The Tucson Rodeo starts this weekend. Fiesta de los Vaqueros started in 1925 and quickly turned into one of Tucson's iconic events, attracting both locals and tourists who really want to experience the Old West. Priscilla Casper is live at the rodeo grounds right now with more on what we can expect this weekend. Priscilla, how's it going out there? John, you know it's always the best time when the Tucson Rodeo comes into town. Preparations already completed for tomorrow's opening day. Take a look behind me. The bulls are over there by my left, and then the horses in their stables right there. The merchandise, food vendors all set up, and the arena lights on. They're ready to go. Some of the competitions include barrel racing, steer wrestling, bull riding, and, John, my personal favorite, the mutton bust in with the Junior Rodeo. The major rules to follow, though, if you are planning on coming, no backpacks or purses are allowed inside. There is a clear bag policy. If you don't have a clear bag policy, they will be handing them out for free at the entrance. And if you want to take photos, you can bring your camera, but just heads up, no camera bags or fanny packs are allowed inside, as well as liquids or weapons of any kind, like pocket knives. Try not to bring too many things. Bring your wallet, of course. And the reason I say that is uh, we have a lot of great concessions. We have a lot of great shopping you can do, great food out here. And uh, so that's what you want to do. The Tucson Rodeo brings about 16 million to Tucson. And so we're very proud of that. And it continues to climb. And uh, the, we get people from all over the country and all over the world that come out and see Tucson. Wow. So a lot of that money will go towards charities. The gates open at 11 in the morning tomorrow. Events end around 4 p.m. Tickets are available at the door online. A link is on our website, kvoa.com. And uh, a tip for all women out there, if you want to wear shoes, be prepared to wear shoes that you don't mind getting dirty. John.